Get here, Clay. Well, Calvin, that's right. The rain is approaching from the west, which our weather systems typically do. And as we take a look at the radar again, you can see that heavier rain moving across north Alabama and the southern portion of middle Tennessee. Also, a lot of scattered showers out across the southern plains. So this is kind of round two over here where this low pressure is located. And this is round one that's going to bring us some rain a little bit later this morning. So let's take a look at your radar. Again, you can see not a lot going on here across the Tennessee Valley. But if you're traveling in the general direction of Huntsville or across Jackson County, some heavier rain about to move in. In fact, a lot of heavy rain now moving into the Huntsville area, also back into that southern portion of Middle Tennessee. But we have a little shower that has popped up here within the last little bit. That's just to the north of Lafayette between Chickamauga and North Lafayette. And that's all moving into southern Catoosa County. So I would say within the next 15 minutes, Ringgold, you're probably going to get a pretty good heavy downpour. So we're going to continue to see some of these showers pop up as the morning progresses, which will lead to wet roads ways which means you need to be careful as you're heading out and about on this Wednesday. But here's a look at the current road conditions. Again, just a few wet spots in Walker County and back into North Alabama. But that green's going to start to expand eastward as we go through the morning and the rain continues to push in. So again, here's a look at your hour by hour. Notice those rain chances go up. Temperatures remain cool for the first part of the day. And then the rain tapers off later this afternoon and temperatures slowly but surely start to climb into the 60s. But currently we're located right in the upper 40s to lower 50s. A little bit warmer down to the south. It's Fort Payne is at 58, 49 in Altamont, 46 in Dayton, and 49 in Murphy. And if you recall, the last couple of mornings, we've been waking up to the 30s. So it feels a little more typical of what you would expect for late April on this Wednesday morning. And as for your highs today, about 5 to maybe 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. Some areas may struggle to reach out of the 50s, but for the most part by this afternoon, I think most of us are going to top out in the lower 60s and again rain chances today and tomorrow but here lately with the latest models the chances for rain has been kind of decreasing into your weekend so things are trending a little bit drier so certainly good news if you have any outdoor plans this weekend but let's take a look at your future cast this morning again rain chances will continue to increase from west to east as we go through the morning notice by about nine o'clock a pretty decent coverage of rain i still think the heaviest activity goes south of the Tennessee state line and then as we go into the mid morning everything starts to shift from west to east and then by two o'clock just a couple of lingering light showers across north Georgia and things will start to wrap up gradually as we go through the rest of the morning now as we go into tonight just a couple of spotty showers around not expecting too much in the way of rain and then by Thursday here comes around two in the morning a couple of scattered showers better chance of rain coming in during the afternoon and evening could be heavy as a cold front approaches. So again, that's when we're gonna get a lot of our rain as we move into your Thursday. But for today, again, heaviest amounts today, north or south, excuse me, of the Tennessee state line with lesser amounts across Chattanooga and Cleveland. But I still think most areas pick up at least a quarter of an inch. And then by tomorrow, we'll have that heavy batch move through. So between today and tomorrow, I think anywhere from one to even an inch and a half of rain with localized areas of two inches certainly will be possible. So again, a good soaking rain coming our way over the next two days. And as for the severe threat today, we're not going to have to be concerned with that, which is good news. That severe threat stays along the Gulf Coast. And then tomorrow, it tries to inch northbound. I think we'll be okay, but there still could be a few rumbles of thunder as we go throughout Thursday afternoon. So we'll watch this to see if it trends any further northward, but for now, not anticipating too much in the way of severe weather. And like I mentioned earlier, we are trending drier. So Saturday's looking to be a really nice day. Highs near 80, so it is going to be a little bit warmer. And then we cool back down on Sunday with a few showers possible, especially early in the day. But for today, again, scattered showers continuing this morning into the early afternoon. Mostly cloudy, highs in the lower 60s. Tonight, we'll have a few spotty showers around, but overall, overall it's going to be dry. Lows of around 53. And as for your next seven days, again, rain chances today and tomorrow going to be our best chance as we go into at least the short term. Friday, a few lingering showers, I think mostly early in the day. And then we warm up nicely, but then plenty of sunshine returns as we move into early next week, Calvin. All right. Thank you, Clay.